Hello all. So I talk about email a lot, how to manage your tasks in email, how to manage your reference items in email. All that is great. However, this video is just going to go over some very quick and easy actionable items that you can do to get to inbox zero faster. So here are the five easy steps you could take to get to inbox zero. Step one is very easily and obviously just getting the right email app. So there are tons of email apps out there. If you're using say Gmail, for example, that doesn't quite encourage inbox zero. However, it does allow it and it does make it still somewhat easy. There are other apps like Airmail and even Inbox by Google that do encourage inbox zero by allowing you to easy allocate things, by allowing you to snooze and defer items, and by allowing you to easily bundle things together so nothing slips through the cracks. Step two on the topic of allocating and organizing, you're going to want to create some folders right off the bat. So once you have your new email app set up, say to yourself, okay, well, I'm going to need to organize some things in my life. I know that I have a lot of business here in whatever area that I'm going to have to keep my emails allocated separately for. You can always start off with just an awaiting for bundle and a reference folder. Things can easily go in there that you can always reference later and never lose track of. Don't let this consume too much of your time. You can always work this as you learn how you're going to manage your email and how you're going to ultimately run your life. Step three is the most exciting part. Once you have everything figured out, once you have your email app up and running, you're going to want to conduct the purge. This is when you take all your emails that are just lingering there, ones that are just unread from six months ago, ones that are just flagged from four months ago, maybe even a year ago that you think you're going to want to read again later on. And this is when you just go down the line, select all and archive. Now, Right off the bat, you're going to be stuck with an inbox zero. It's a great first step and it's a great kick in the butt to get you wanting to keep your email inbox as clean as possible at all times. Never fear, all your emails are not gone, you're not deleting anything if you just archive them, they're still going to be on the same server in the same cloud just tagged as archive now instead of tagged as in my face every time I open up my app, confusing and overwhelming me all the time. Step four, this is going to be your mindset more than anything else. This is going to be pretty hard because you're gonna to have to change your behavior and change your habits. This is when you wanna maintain your clean inbox now that you have it all clean and neat. So whenever you check your email, understand and mentally prepare yourself for doing something with all those emails, triaging what you're gonna do with everything and how you're gonna manage everyone that's trying to contact you through email. Say to yourself, can I take action on this right now? Can I just respond to the email, get it over with, archive it, and be done with it? Can I snooze it? I, have, I can't even take care of this right now. Let me just worry about it next week. Snooze it till next Monday. Or throw it in one of your folders because you're gonna wanna reference these tickets that you're buying next week when you go to the show. Now there are gonna be some times when you just don't know what to do with an email. These are the worst situations, and we're gonna talk about how to handle all these scenarios as they arise. However, right off the bat, I can tell you that if you just had a trusted system, it'll solve a lot of things. And that brings us to step five, which is build up your trusted system. What this means is understanding that your email inbox is not a task manager. You can't allocate all the different tasks that you need for one certain project and one certain end goal. Having an app or system in a notebook, what have you, on a whiteboard, Having that trusted system that is meant to keep track of all your different tasks and events and then taking emails that pertain to those and putting them in there instead of leaving them in your inbox will bring so much clarity to your mind because you have one system for emails and one system for your tasks and events. Understanding the difference between those things and making sure that everything's in its right place will make you more productive and will clear your mind. Ultimately, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put aside some time to initially set everything up. Inbox Zero is great once you're using it, but that initial push that you need to give yourself to get there is somewhat of a hurdle that you're gonna to have to overcome. Thank you, good luck, and get to work.